Let's solve this inequality involving a natural log and a quadratic function. Taking a look at the graph of the natural log, we see that the x-intercept is the point 1, 0. For the natural log to be less than or equal to 0, the input needs to be between 0 and 1. So, in this case, the quadratic needs to be between 0 and 1, including 1, but excluding 0, because the natural log is not defined at 0. So this gives us a couple of inequalities to solve. The left-hand side is x squared minus 2x minus 2 is greater than 0. So we draw a number line and plot the two roots of the quadratic. These will be 1 plus radical 3 and 1 minus radical 3. And now it's a question of do we choose the inside region or the outside region? The easiest way to determine this is to plug in a point. Let's choose 0, for example, and this gives us negative 2. This is less than 0, not greater than 0, meaning that the solution is actually the outside region, less than the smaller root and more than the bigger root. The second inequality is the right-hand side, which is x squared minus 2x minus 3 is less than or equal to 0. This one is factorable. Its roots are easier to find. These are negative 1 and positive 3. If we try plugging in 0, we get negative 3, which is indeed less than or equal to 0. So this time, we will choose the inside region. We also have to shade the two circles because the boundaries are included in this case. And now it's a question of where do those regions intersect? Take a close look and verify that this is the region of intersection. So x must lie between negative 1 and 1 minus radical 3, or between 1 plus radical 3 and 3. In interval notation, we would express the answer as the following where a square bracket indicates that the boundary is included and a round bracket indicates that the boundary is excluded.